Hi, this is Yana Lee 23 again. I'm coming to do a review. I don't know where the package is. On this hair, it is Vivica Fox Wink Yaki, and I think this is the 18 inches on the bottom and a 16 inch on the top. I did it in a U part no. wig. It's my daughter. I did it on a U part wig with two clips in the front, and I just threw it on. I just wanted to have a different look. I don't like anything permanent, so every weave I put in my hair, nine times out of ten, it's a three-fourth wig, which again, I learned off of YouTube. And um, I'm just going to give an initial Why? review on my opinions about the hair. The hair um, doesn't say on the package that it's a protein Why? hair, but once I did my research, I found out that it is protein hair. It comes off as if it's a blend, but it's really not. It's no human hair in here. It's protein fiber. It's probably similar to Brandy's brand of, um, I forget, Pro something. But anyway, um, my first initial review of the hair is it feels really good. It feels silky. I mean, not Remy silky, but it feels silky. Almost, it kind of is between Remy feel and in that that decent future of fiber weave it kind of feels like a mixture of both just in texture wise the hair itself is pretty thin actually like it's not I like my hair to be a little bit fuller and it's not really that full it curls beautiful I took one strand and I just curled it to see it curls very well and I've only been wearing this for two days and the ends are a little bit a little bit raggedy kind of like with the Kima classic hair like Kima classic hair I liked it but the ends are kind of raggedy but um as far as the hair it curls well it feels nice it's kind of thin you don't get that much hair in the bundles um you can it's kind of shiny too like the luster is pretty pretty shiny I don't know how, I, somebody told me to put baby powder in it, but I think that's kind of weird, putting baby powder in your hair and stuff, so, I don't know, hopefully that goes away with time. It blends okay with my hair, I mean, my hair is pretty bone straight and permed right now, this would be my real hair. So, besides the fact that if I didn't put the Moroccan argan oil in there, it probably wouldn't blend as well, but I put it in there, so it blends decent. Um, what else do I have to say about this hair? Does it shed? I, as far as shedding goes, I always say with people, like, it depends on how you do your weaves. Like, if you cut the wefts, you're going to shed. If you don't seal the wefts, you're going to shed. Like, hair sheds, that's it. Like, the only hair that I know that sheds ridiculous is the Bobby Boss hair. And no matter how much you spend on that hair, that hair is going to shed like a dog. And shedding doesn't too much bother me, except like when you're like playing in your hair and then like chunks and chunks. Matter of fact, let me see if any strands come out here. No strands, but like I said, it's fairly new. The older the weave gets, the more shedding. But as far as what I recommend the hair, the hair, one pack costs 20, of the 18 inch costs $25. And I think the 16 inch cost $22. So it's about under 50. I think it's better than Kima Classic hair. That hair really sucks. Um, this hair is better. I guess maybe it's because it's protein hair, like I said. I don't really know what the hell protein hair is. Like, it's not real hair, but um, it's a good alternative. Just cheap, I guess. But yeah. This is my review. Um, this is how long the hair is. It reaches probably to the middle of my back. It's the back of the hair. Yeah. Yeah. So it's decent. It's decent for the price. But hope you guys like my review. Thank you.